Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amelia and today we're gonna be making a turkey. It's gonna be nice and juicy and tender. You're gonna love it. So let's get started on making this turkey. This is one cup of butter and you wanna kinda smooth it out a little bit. So I went ahead and did that. And then this is um, parsley. And we're gonna chop this up. I have fresh thyme in here. And um, some rosemary. Okay, so you wanna just mix this up. Okay, I'm gonna need a glove of garlic. Garlic. We're gonna put a little bit of zest, lemon zest. And you wanna just get the yellow. Don't um, do not do the, the white part. The white is sour. So you wanna stop there. You just want the yellow. That's where all the flavor's at. Just a little bit. So, you wanna have your turkey nice and patted dry. I rinsed it out and then I patted it dry. Now I'm just gonna add some um, more salt. I'm gonna add a onion. And the lemon that we just used, I'm squeezing in a lemon, half of it in there. Okay. And now this butter paste that we made, what we wanna do is start pulling the skin in the middle. You don't wanna rip it. You wanna just keep going. And this is where we're gonna put the butter with the spices. This is where we're gonna put the butter and the herbs in the middle of the skin and the turkey. Okay, I also put chicken broth. I don't want my um, turkey to be dry. And I don't like using the rack because I want the turkey to sit on this um, chicken broth. So I'll, I add. And plus I use this tube with uh, gravy. Okay, so that was one container of chicken broth. And now I'm just gonna keep adding some black pepper on top. A little bit more rosemary. Thyme. And the other um, Onion. I'm just sticking it in here. Gives it more flavor. Okay, so what I have here is some um, cheesecloth. So now I'm just gonna soak this cheesecloth. I'm soaking it in with the chicken broth. And now I'm gonna add this on top. It 
so the butter doesn't just run down. I'm gonna leave it here like that. And I'm gonna cover it on foil paper and put it in the oven for at 325. And this might take about maybe four, four hours or four and a half. Okay, I'm also gonna make mashed potatoes. So I have these um, Russell potatoes. And you can make as many potatoes you want, just depending on your size of the family. Um, I'm throwing in about eight potatoes. So I'm gonna just boil this on the pot. So I have the turkey in the oven and the potatoes in the pot on the stove. So now we're gonna be making a stuffing. This stuffing, you're gonna love. It's so good. You're gonna love it. Um, I have some more chicken broth here. You're gonna need a sourdough bread, a regular French bread. I have eight ounces of butter. Uh, this, we're gonna use half of it when we saute the vegetables and the other half, we're gonna be making squares and putting it on top, um, sprinkling it on top. So there's that. I have a onion we're gonna chop up. I have one whole, um, Salary. This is all gonna get chopped up. I have about six carrots here These are gonna get chopped up. I have some Parmesan now if you have fancy Parmesan go ahead and use it. I have um, The craft Parmesan. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but it used to be $7.99 at Costco for a twin pack and now You only get one for $7.99. That sucks <laughs> I don't know if anybody noticed, but I did. And then I have, um, I already baked one box of this cornbread, honey, honey cornbread from Crustes. I don't know if I'm saying it right, Crustes. This cornbread, I love it. Um, I like this one. So this is one, and I already baked, baked one. So what we're gonna be doing with the bread, we are going to cut it slice it in piece in little squares um, the French bread since I'm only doing um, one sheet this is gonna be for one pan to bake in the oven so we're gonna do one sheet I'm only gonna um, slice half of this and then half of this I usually do all of it but then I would be doing two sheets I'm only doing one sheet we're gonna make squares. This cornbread is really good. I used to always buy the little blue box, but now I get the honey cornbread. It has more flavor. I recommend it, try it. Whole bunch of little squares. Once you make this stuffing, you're gonna want to make it every year for Thanksgiving. Um, today is not Thanksgiving. Today's Father's Day, so I'm only making one sheet. We're in quarantine, so I can't um, invite anybody. So that sucks. So see how these are just squares? This is what we want. We just want squares. Okay, you see how this looks like it's a lot no worries everybody's gonna eat it now you just want to mix mix your breads Oops. mix them all in 
That way when you scoop some up, everybody gets a little bit of all different breads. Okay, just like that. So this is ready. Now we're gonna chop up all of our vegetables. And we're gonna saute them. So I'm gonna start with the um, celery. I took out the I took out the turkey and I forgot to tell you I put some bay leaves so you could um, you could be pasting it with one of these little brushes but you can also use like a spoon so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm just gonna keep pouring it on top the juices so you want to do this every you want to do this every 30 minutes you want to do this every 30 minutes that way you'll get the best results on making your turkey juicy. Just a couple times. And now back I'm gonna cover it. And it's going back into the oven. This is ready. It's not overcooked. Uh, it went to a full boil and I just turned it off. Um, now I'm just gonna let it cool down so we can put it on the bread. Um, th this is done. The veggies are ready. And now I'm just gonna be pouring over some of this. a good layer of parmesan okay that's good enough now this is gonna go into the oven for about um, 30 minutes and this I'm not putting in until the turkey is done or at least 30 minutes before the turkey is done so I'm just going to set this aside I already peeled the potatoes now I'm just adding the salt I'm gonna add about um, a cup of butter. Add butter in there. I'm adding some heavy heavy cream. You can also add um, milk if you don't have heavy cream. I have a whole um, stick of cream cheese. It's gonna go inside. I'm gonna smash that in as well. It's gonna give it a creamy texture. I already took off the cheesecloth. Now I'm just going to take the foil off. Take 
pouring some of this on top of the turkey so it stays moist and juicy and that's what you want you want a juicy turkey so if you do this every 30 minutes you're gonna end up with a juicy turkey about 30 more minutes now I'm gonna add the stuffing into the oven this turkey is done and the way you want to know how if it's done or not it needs to be at least at 170 170 180 and mine is already at 170 so it's it's done so I was adding more juices from the turkey into the stuffing and this is just gonna give it even more flavor. Now that the turkey's done, I just wanna get some of these juices. This is gonna taste so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's looking pretty good. And the turkey is done. I had it in the oven for four and a half hours at 425. And then my stuffing, I had it in there for about 35 minutes. So this came out so good. Now I'm just gonna start putting plating it. So I made some gravy and then I used some of the, um, the juices off of the turkey. I used it into my gravy so it has more flavor. mashed potato has a lot of flavor with that butter the salt the heavy cream cream cheese salt and black pepper came out really good and the turkey add a little bit of gravy mm. the turkey's juicy and it has a lot of flavoring. The, all the herbs, the fresh herbs that went in there with the butter. And then every half hour, you just kind of soak it, soak it back in so it stays juicy. You can taste all the, all the herbs. And now my stuffing. The stuffing is a little bit juicy, some parts, and then there's some parts of the stuffing that is crispy and toasty. All the juices, everything doesn't get all soggy. There's some that's soggy and then the top, it's still crispy, crispy and dry. So you get a little bit of both. And at the end, I did pour some of the turkey juices on top of the stuffing. That's gonna keep adding on more flavor. So that it came out really good. Mm. You're gonna love it. It tastes so good. Mm. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.